All right, so I have a confession to make. I seem to be infatuated with seeking out the perfect propellers for long-range efficiency. I don't know how many props I've been through, but I recently compared five different sets, and I have $50 in new ones coming from Race Day Quads now. Initially, I had the understanding that a lighter pitch prop conserved energy because it had less resistance, even though it spins at a higher RPM, but I found that that's not the case. I had it in my mind for so long that 8x3.7x3 by by would be the ideal prop for my 8 inch and so when I saw that HQ actually makes that size now I immediately jumped on them. I have been running HQ 8x4.5x3s for a long time and they've been great but I thought a lighter pitch would have better efficiency. So I've been doing this 2.8 mile out mountain loop from the grass field right by my house trying to fly the same exact path in the best efficiency as possible. When I found the lighter props to use around 800 milliamp hours more, I actually did a second run another day in case it was due to wind, but I found the same result. I also tried the Gemfan 8x4x3s, and though they were better than the 3.7s, they were not as close to the 4.5s. Then the other two props tested were both 4.5 pitch, the first were slow flyer carbon fiber props from China, and they used a fair bit more power than the reinforced plastic gem fans of the same design. Both are two blades. The gem fans actually used 200 milliamp hours less than the HQ3 blade 4.5s upon reaching the peak, but then ended up 200 milliamp hours more by landing. Not sure why that is, maybe a light wind, but it didn't seem that windy that day. So though I recently heard someone say that two blades are more efficient, in my test the three blade 4.5s were the winner. The prop I have been using forever and have had great flight times of over 20 minutes with an 8000 milliamp hour 4S battery. So now I've gone the other way and ordered two different style sets of two blade HQ 8x5s, a set of carbon nylon gem fan 8x6 three blades, and another set of the new style of HQ 8x4.5 three blades since they've worked so well and are my best option so far. I'll try them all and do another video about that in the near future. As for the more distant future, for most of us anyways, have you thought about your eternal well-being and standing with God on Judgment Day? How old are you now? And how old will you be when you die? Yeah, we don't know when that will be, but God does. And death comes unexpectedly most of the time, and so time is always against us. My two best friends died long ago at young ages, along with other classmates and friends and family I've known. There's nothing more important than your eternal well-being, and so you owe it to your good senses to think about these things. If you do, you will be the better for it, for there is only one way to Jehovah the Father, and that is through Yeshua the Messiah who took upon himself the sins of the world. But that spiritual transaction needs to be appropriated properly by repenting of your sins and putting your faith in him and following him regardless of the consequences. I pray that you will do that. Drink of Christ, the living water. water, water, water.